Messengers and Prophets of God How would one know the role and life purpose of existence unless one receives clear and practical instructions of what God wants and expects of him or her? Here comes the need for prophethood. Thus God has sent thousands of prophets and messengers to humankind. Every nation on earth received a prophet, God states in the Quran. And we certainly sent into every nation a messenger, saying, Worship Allah and shun false gods. And among them were those whom Allah guided, and among them were those upon whom error was deservedly decreed. So proceed through the earth and observe how was the end of the deniers. 1636 They all preached the same general message, that there is only one deity worthy of worship. He is the one and only God, without a partner, son, daughter, or equal. All other gods are false and are only creations of God and not the actual Creator. All of the prophets and messengers came with the same purpose, to lead humanity to God. Muslims believe that God communicates His guidance through human prophets. Belief in the prophets who God relayed His message to humanity is a required article of the Islamic faith. God states, The Prophet Muhammad believes in what has been sent down to him from his Lord, and so do the believers. Each one believes in God, his angels, his books, and his prophets. They say, We make no distinction between one another of his prophets. Quran 2, 285 The prophets seek nothing for their personal interest in this world. Instead, they seek things for the public interests by warning their people against what may harm them. God sent prophets to humanity for several reasons. For instance, to guide humanity from worshiping created beings and to worship their Creator, the Creator of all things. The prophets came to guide humankind to build a relationship with their Creator, to know Him and to love Him. The prophets taught humanity that life is only a test where the successful will enter heaven eternally and the unsuccessful will enter the hellfire. Prophets and messengers were sent to teach humanity about righteousness, morals, ethics, and how to purify their souls from evil. They were also sent to teach about the unseen world which exists beyond our ordinary senses and physical universe, such as the existence of angels. God sent prophets and messengers to stand as witnesses on the day of judgment to the ones that will claim they never heard the message. Muslims believe, respect, honor, and love all prophets and messengers of God, starting with Prophet Adam, including Noah, Abraham, Ishmael, Jacob, Moses, and Prophet Jesus, peace be upon them all, all who invited people to worship God and shun false gods. Muslims believe in many of the prophets found in Jewish and Christian traditions. Muslims also believe in God's final testament to man, which was revealed to the last and final prophet, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who was sent to the last and final nation, our nation, God states in the Quran. Muhammad is not the father of any one of your men, but he is the messenger of God and the last of the prophets. Quran 3340 Out of the infinite mercy and love of God, God continued to send prophets and revelations to guide humanity. Each prophet and book was sent down to different nations and people. There were over 100,000 prophets and messengers sent to all of humanity, to all nations and races in all corners of the world. Some prophets were superior to others. The best among them were prophets Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and prophet Muhammad, peace be upon them. God states, Islam states, all the previous prophets and books other than the Holy Quran and prophet Muhammad were sent down only for a particular nation and a specific group of people and were only meant to be followed for a particular period. For example, Muslims believe Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, was one of God's mightiest messengers of God who was sent down with the same general message of all the previous prophets, but was only sent to the children of Israel 
as their final prophet because they were veering away from the laws and disobeying the commandments of God. Prophet Jesus' mission was to confirm the Torah that was previously sent, to make certain lawful things that were previously unlawful, to ease their lives, and to proclaim and reaffirm the belief in one God. Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, was not meant for the non-Israelites. God states in his final revelation in the Holy Quran that he would teach Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, the Torah, the Gospel, and the Wisdom. And he will teach him writing and wisdom and the Torah and the Gospel. Quran 348 To spread his message to the Israelites, Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, was taught the Torah and he was provided with his own revelation from God, the Gospel, in Jeel. God also bestowed Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, with the ability to guide and influence his people with signs and miracles to prove he was sent down by God. The miracles were proof he wasn't an imposter. All the wonders and miracles that were granted by Prophet Jesus or any prophet of God is only done with the permission and power of God and are usually in the field in which his people excel and are recognized as superior at the time and place of the prophet. People of later generations disoriented all the earlier revelations of God. As a result, pure revelation from God was polluted with myths, words of men, superstitions, irrational philosophical ideologies, and idol worship. The religion of God was lost in a plethora of religions. Later, when humanity was in the depth of the Dark Ages, God, the Almighty, sent His last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, and His final revelation, the Holy Quran, to redeem humanity. The Quran and the final messenger, peace be upon him, affirmed everything that was revealed to all the previous messengers in the past. Since past revelations were meant for past nations, the Holy Quran and the way of Prophet Muhammad abrogates all the previous laws. By the wisdom of God, he did not allow the teachings of the earlier prophets to remain preserved in an entirely undistorted manner. There will be no prophet or book after the Holy Quran, and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Prophet Muhammad was not only sent down to the Arabs or Muslims, rather was sent down for all of humanity till the end of time. The Quran states, and we have not yet sent you, O Muhammad, except as a bringer of glad tidings and a warmer unto all humanity, but most people know not. Quran 34, 28 God chose the best among humanity to deliver his message. Prophethood is not earned or acquired through certain practices or higher education. God chooses whom he pleases and thinks would be the best fit for this purpose. The prophets and messengers were best in morals and manners and were mentally and physically fit for the task and were protected by God from falling into major sins. The prophets were the best in their community morally and intellectually so they can serve as good role models for their followers. Their personality was one that attracted people to accept their message rather than drive people away. They did not err nor commit mistakes in delivering the message. All of God's messengers preached the same general message. They preached that there is only one God. One should love Him with all his heart, worship Him to his or her best ability, and praise Him and follow His laws. The prophet's messages came with glad tidings and a warning. The glad tidings were for those who believe informing them that their past sins will be forgiven and the generous reward of paradise will be awarded to them. The warning is for those who disbelieve informing them that if they continue their evil ways, their final destruction will be hellfire. The Quran states, Verily, we have sent you with the truth, the bearer of glad tidings and a warner. And there never was a nation, but a warner had passed among them. Quran 35.24 And the Quran also states, Verily, those who fear their Lord unseen, theirs will be forgiveness and a great reward. Quran 67.12 Prophet Muhammad was sent with a message in the language of the people he was sent upon, so they can easily understand the message, apply it in their lives, and then convey it to others. 
if he had not carried the message in their language, they would not have understood him. Since Prophet Muhammad was sent to the Arabs speaking plain Arabic, they had no excuse but to hear his message. God states in the Quran, And we never punish until we have sent a messenger to give warning. Quran 1715 Prophet Muhammad's message was certainly not limited to the people of his time. Instead, Prophet Muhammad was sent to all of humanity. This is stated repeatedly in the Quran. Whereas Prophet Muhammad was an Arab, only four of the 25 mentioned prophets in the Holy Quran were Arabs. The Arab prophets. The Arab prophets were Prophet Hud, Eber in English, Prophet Saleh, Prophet Shuab, known in the biblical literature as Jethro, and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon them. Prophet Muhammad is only mentioned four times in the Quran by name. The most mentioned prophet in the Quran is Moses. Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, is mentioned in over 70 passages. Prophet Moses was the most mentioned prophet in the Quran because he was the most similar to Prophet Muhammad and his nation was the most similar to our nation so we could learn and benefit from their mistakes. In reading and learning what happened to the Israelites and their errors, our nation can avoid making the same mistakes they made. One way God delivers his guidance to humanity is through giving examples of past nations, their stories, and their mistakes. So people can now benefit, not make the same mistakes, and live their lives accordingly. The Almighty states, There was certainly in their stories a lesson for those of understanding. Never was the Quran a nation invented, but a confirmation of what was before it, and a detailed explanation of all things and guidance and mercy for a people who believe. Quran 12, 111. In each story mentioned in the Quran, there are many lessons. People went to extremes with the prophets that were sent from God. Some prophets were rejected and accused of being sorcerers, madmen, forgers, plagiarizers, magicians, poets, soothsayers, impostors, and liars, even though they came with miracles and books beyond the power of humans to prove they were sent from God. For instance, Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, son of Mary, was rejected by the Jews and they refused to consider him to be the messenger they had been waiting for. The Jews rejected Prophet Jesus and Prophet Muhammad, even though their book spoke about an upcoming prophet that will come. I will establish a prophet for them from among their brothers like you, and I will place my words in his mouth, and he shall speak to them all that I shall command him. Devarim 18.18 18. This prophet was no other than the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The Christians also rejected prophet Muhammad. However, Muslims believe in all prophets sent from God, starting with prophet Adam to the last and final prophet, prophet Muhammad. Muslims accept all prophets and messengers of God who brought guidance to humanity. However, the revelations which the prophets before Prophet Muhammad brought from God have been tampered with by men over the years. Since the Bible was sent down for a particular group of people and a particular period, God did not feel it fit to preserve the Bible. It is now mixed with words of men and contains hundreds of scientific errors which prove it is no longer in the same form as it once was when Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, was present. Since the Holy Quran is meant for all of humanity as a whole and is intended to eternity, God made sure he preserved it from being tampered with. The Quran is the only book of God that remains untampered, untouched, whole, standing in the same form as it came down over 1400 years ago. God states in the Quran, Indeed, it is we who sent down the Quran, and indeed, we will be its guardian. Guard it against corruption. Quran 15.9 While some took the prophets as a joke and rejected them, some, on the contrary, turned prophets into gods by giving them divine powers or declared them to be children of God, like with Prophet Jesus with the Christians. Prophets are to be loved and respected, but no form of worship is to be directed towards them, nor are they to be treated as demigods or intermediaries between mankind and God. However, Christians appointed him to divine heights that he was not entitled to. Jesus' message lasted in its original purity for some time. 
While the Israelites and Roman authorities rejected his message, there were a group of people that accepted and believed in his message called his disciples. Soon after God elevated prophets Jesus' soul and body into heaven, the early devoted followers of Jesus tried to maintain the purity and clarity of his teachings, that he is only a messenger of God. Jesus' message lasted in its original purity for some time, but the scripture he received was slowly altered and his original message of the absolute oneness of God. Soon later, in the next few centuries, different beliefs about Prophet Jesus developed amongst some early Christians. They claimed that he was divine, calling him the Son of God, which eventually became the dominant Christian belief. Six centuries after Jesus, God sent his last and final messenger, Muhammad, to mankind with his final scripture, known as the Holy Quran. If Jesus claimed to be God, then there would be many verses in the Bible which would have mentioned so. However, there is not a single verse in the entire Bible that states Jesus said, I am God, or worship me. Furthermore, the Bible itself calls Jesus a prophet. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, Who is this? The crowds answered, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. Matthew 21.10 and 11 How could prophet Jesus be God and God's prophet at the same time? That wouldn't make any logical sense. Jesus never claimed he was God or he should be worshipped. Jesus never claimed divinity. All prophets and messengers were created human beings who had no divine attributes, power, or any divine qualities of God. They were the best slaves of God that walked the earth, who ate, drank, slept, and lived normal human lives.